It is a beautiful day to start talking about factoring or factorizing. And um, I'll be making a playlist with quite some videos because students think that this is, uh, factoring is difficult and confusing, but it's not. Yeah? It's just because they don't ask themselves the correct questions that they think is difficult. But if you ask yourself five simple questions, and I will tell you which questions those are, you will be a superstar in factoring. Yeah? Just to go back a little bit, um, what have you done before? Well, you got expressions like this, for instance, 5 bracket 2x plus 3, and you were asked to expand the expression, eh? and then expanding, so expand is uh, getting rid of those brackets, eh? so what would you do? You would do 5 times 2x and then 5 times 3, eh? so all the terms inside uh, the brackets, you would multiply by the number directly in front of it, 5 in this case, so 10x, and don't forget that second term, plus 15. That is expanding, that is something you can already do, otherwise check my other videos. But now we are going to factorize, or factorizing, factorize, and what is factorizing? It is the exact opposite of expanding. So you will get an expression, for instance, 10x plus 15, and if you're asked to factorize it, it means put it in the brackets. Get rid of that common factor. Now what is the common factor or the highest common factor? In this case that would be five brackets. I'm factorizing, so I'm putting it in those brackets. 2x plus three, finished. Okay, so that was just an introduction. What is factorizing? Factorizing is putting it inside the brackets. Now. I will be referring to this particular sheet during my playlist on several occasions because these are the questions you have to ask yourself. Am I factorizing by taking out a common factor? Is it grouping? Is it what I call normal factoring or factorizing? Or is it what I call extra normal factorizing? Or is it the difference of two squares? These are the five questions which will all make sense to you very shortly, okay? Which you should be asking yourself when you're factorizing. When you ask yourself these questions, you will be an absolute superstar. So quickly go to my next video, yeah, part two, where we're gonna start by looking at common factors, yeah? And otherwise check my site, explainingmaths.com, or my Facebook for more free resources. I'll see you at the next video.